I've got Juan Escovito and the Escovito clan and guests. <laughs> and why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves. Um, my name is Tony Flores, percussionist. And I'm Juan Escovito. Bobby Escovito. And this guy way back in the corner is... Mateo Garcia, and I'm sponsored with uh, Tony Flores. Right on. How did you guys first get started in music? You guys come uh, from a pretty well-known family. Well, I've been playing since I was around uh, seven or eight. I had no choice. My father had congas, percussions in the, in the front room. Like most kids would go out and play ball or play whatever in, in, in the front of the, their house. And my father had congas. They would take a break, call us Santana, call us Federico. Santana used to come over. They used to rehearse and go in the front of the house, take a break, maybe have a beer or two, maybe some water. I don't know. But I, uh, my, myself and, and my sister Sheila E and my brother Peter Michael, uh, we started playing the drums and congas and, and practicing. So when they came back to rehearse, uh, they said, OK, get off the time for us to play professionals. You know? So we'll sit, sit back all that. <laughs> we'll sit back and watch them uh, practice and rehearse. So we just watched and mimicked everything my father did. And, and the musicians, that was it. Cal Jader used to come over and rehearse. So uh, we couldn't help but listen to Latin and salsa music, which we did not like. We used to like the Osmonds, the Jacksons, stuff like that. But after a while, it, it focused on our... Uh, it's in their blood. It's in their blood. Yeah, it's in the blood. So we started listening we to the music. We became drummers. <laughs> and Tony Flores grew up with us. Uh, we went to school in St. Elizabeth in Oakland. And uh, we started rehearsing together. And Uncle Bobby, of course, is my father's brother, who, of course, knows the music also. Uh, we just perform together and just have fun and just try to entertain everybody. Ho hopefully yeah, everybody enjoy our music. You guys all kind of got shanghai into this then, well, right? We just, we just got off stage and uh, my brother Juan here gave me a good teacher smile. I love you for that, fun. And, and we're going to continue playing this Latin music, funk music, salsa music, whatever you want to call it. It's just music. You know, that was going to be the next question is how would you classify the, the style of music you play? Because there's so many different styles of Latin music. A coalition of music, yeah. of all music. But it's yeah. good. It's good. They have rap music here. They have, uh, like myself, salsa music. They have uh, Picture Perfect, which is vocal group. It's all Latinos getting together and doing the Latin Fest. Mark Torres is uh, programming and doing the whole thing. And I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be called for this uh, gig with him. And I love it. It's fun. Yeah. It's been a great event. That's awesome to hear, because I was going to ask you how you felt about Latin Fest, since it's really all about Latin unity and pride. And right. Well, I love it. I can't wait till the next one. I think they're doing one every two months, I believe. Yeah. It's good for the community. And, you know, the kids come and enjoy the music instead of being out there on the street get into trouble, we'd rather they were here and having a good time and smiling than laughing. Do you guys find any kind of differences between the audiences that you play, for like a Latino audience versus like a multiracial audience? Is there a lot of difference in that? Well, sometimes you never know what the response you're going to get. It can be white people, it can be black, it doesn't matter. You never know who, what response you're going to get in what city. You can go to like Sacramento, a lot of Latino people and and like in Oakland, you think a lot of blacks, but sometimes the black they like 80% blacks who played at Kimball's for like five days. And they came out, it was a whole new response. And my father has a new CD out. <laughs> it's called uh, South, what is it? Going South? Fl Flying South, I'm sorry. It's called Flying South. South. It's South. It's South. <laughs> we got the passports, so we'll get to cross the border, that's how we yeah, but you never know what you're going to come up to, uh, what type of people and response you're going to get. You never know. You just always go out there, play your best. You, we've been playing for so long. We enjoy performing. Uh, you know, we do our best on stage, and ho hopefully everybody enjoys it. Well, I think that uh, everybody enjoys listening to Latin music. I know I do. We've got a lot of rising performers that watch our show, and we're always looking for career advice for them. How do they break into this business? Because it's so difficult. How do you do it? Well, uh, <laughs> you break in this business by hanging around with everybody. <laughs> you, 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 you cling on to your heart, and you let your heart take you where you just follow your heart. And if your heart is in, in the, the arts, no matter what form of art. Well, first, first of all, you make sure you're ready to perform. You practice your best, you do your best at home, because when you get a call, it doesn't matter if it's jazz, Latin, funk. I play with a hammer. I play with jazz, uh, Herbie Hancock. 
it doesn't matter. You have to listen to a variety of music because you can practice all you want at home, but all of a sudden if you get a call to play funk or Latin, you're lost. You don't know the format of the music. So I recommend everybody who wants to become a musician, make sure you study your music, first of all. Make sure you prepare to perform on stage. And don't take it for granted. Uh, yes, it's fun on stage, but be prepared. It's, it is a business. So make sure you do your best and make sure you study your music and listen to the artist, the one who hired you to perform. And you'll, be, you'll go far in life. Your craft will be blessed. I'll do one real quick. I'm a Latinistic, flamboyantistic, hanging around in the Alleyville district, the F, the I, the E, the Aldi, hanging with the homies in the XIV scene, you know, these kind of things. These are the things that make them greens, you know. But let this be known. The Latin stars are coming out. These are Latin legends, and I'm, I'm very happy to be with them, and it's a, it's a pleasure to be right next to them right now. All right, right on yeah. that. Talking to Bertie G. Mateo, hey, we're getting down. Don't forget that. I think I'm losing control of this interview. I think I better stop it while I can. I Thanks, finish. guys. I want to thank you guys for showing up and supporting the Latin Fest. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Thanks the media for being here. Well, it's just a mutual admiration society. Thanks a lot, guys.